Hi everyone, welcome to our sixth day of our tenth week of our daily devotions and I'm happy that I can um, share with you and reflect with you uh, from God's Word and through the devotional that the Lord has provided for us. And as you can see po, ako po nasa loob ng simbahan. Uh, we are, I'm, I'm in the sanctuary right now. And uh, it really feels so empty. Again, let me just remind all of us, as I've said, mentioned a couple of days ago, this is just a building. The church is those who are saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Tayo po yun. And I can't wait for, for God to pave the way for us to be together and be worshiping God to make this structure uh, uh, a place wherein the church congregates. So... This morning, we'll be um, contemplating uh, on um, Matthew 9, 36. And this devotional was written by Vitali Pelicati of the Word of Grace Bible Institute from the United States. And the title of our uh, devotion today is The Compassionate Shepherd. Matthew 9, 36. Seeing the people, he felt compassion for them. Because they were distressed and dispirited like sheep without a shepherd. And Vitali writes, A.W. Tozer wrote that what we think of God is the most important thing about us. Tozer rightly perceived that our view of God defines us in how we relate to Him. If God is seen like Santa Claus, then we work hard to make sure that by year's end, we have been more, na- more nice than naughty to earn His favor. If he is like a benevolent heavenly father, then it doesn't matter how we live. He doesn't care. If God is like a cosmic watchmaker who made the world and left it, then he is far away and irrelevant. What we think of God becomes even more significant when life is difficult. Especially now. Especially now. I don't know if you've uh, seen in the news, especially in the very first few weeks po nung pandemic, I've heard of many people saying, oh, San ang Diyos? Where is God? If God is a loving God, why is He allowing things like this? So, yeah. And what we think of God becomes more significant and more important, especially in difficult times. When that happens, uh, Vitali continues, is God punishing you? Is He able to help? Does He even care? In those moments, how you view God will determine your whole reality, giving you hope or driving you to despair, to God or from God. Jesus, God in human flesh, tells us that He looks to our condition, not with judgment, simple acceptance, or disinterest, but with compassion. And I like that. Um, In the Gospels, we see how God would feel compassion for people. And remember, in John 11.35, we see Him weeping. Uh, at the sight of those who are mourning because Lazarus died. And I like that, that God in human form, in human flesh, Jesus Christ, looks at us with compassion. He cares about our pain. He is aware of our suffering. And He is concerned for our plight. He is a loving shepherd who gave His life for the sheep. Whatever your situation or circumstance, Jesus calls you today to turn to His compassion, to trust His care, to rest in His promises. He is there. He loves His sheep and wants to shepherd you in and through every circumstance of life. In family life, let Him be your loving leader. In work, let Him be your caring master. In in ministry, let Him be your all-sufficient shepherd. And I say amen to that. It's so easy to be entangled, to be uh, driven away at madalas sa agos ng um, taguluhang ito. And if you're not grounded, if you have a, a poor understanding who, of who Jesus is, then this would dictate how we would react to situations and circumstances uh, in our lives. And kung sa tingin natin at na naman para tayo, tayo na reveal ng Panginoon and it is indeed in Scripture that Jesus Christ is a compassionate God. He is the one who is uh, um, gracious and merciful and the one who looks at us with compassionate uh, eyes and, and coming from His kind, loving heart. 
especially if you're a believer and you're a follower of him oh man he is your shepherd he is your high priest he died for you so i know it's uh been hard and and i wouldn't be surprised if any one of you if you're watching this that if, if you're uh kind of depressed sa mga nangyari, um, sa ating paligid, eh, maybe like like yung pag-aaral ng mga bata uh, how do, how would that look like now diba? but if we understand that god is in control that he is loving and he takes care of his people then we would have that security that no matter what happens i um siya bilang, bilang isang compassionate merciful loving na shepherd ay mag-aaruga sa atin and that is uh, comfort for me that should be comfort for all of us right so again i thank the lord that we are ending this week um in this sanctuary uh dalangin po ng puso ko ay um gumawa ng para ng panginoon at pagkakataon for us to be together and to really declare his excellency shout out his fame sa sinasama-sama sa dakong ito but until then we would not be confined we would not be limited to being the church right being the church and when you get discouraged and when you get frustrated when you get depressed bank on the compassionate heart of jesus christ who cares for you right so salamat po sa Panginoon for giving us this opportunity and I thank the Lord for um Hi, alam ko na miss niyo to and um let's keep on praying. Shall we come to him now in prayer? Lord, we thank you for um the great salvation that we have. We thank you that you're very compassionate that you look at us with compassionate eyes coming from your kind and compassionate heart. We thank you that as your uh, people, as born-again Christians, by virtue of your grace and your finished work, we uh, can depend on you, uh, rely on you, and have that assurance and comfort that you understand us, that you can understand us. We pray, Lord, that um, you would bless the remaining hours of the day, and um, we pray that um, every one of us, um, would be found, Lord, having this confidence as we live our lives day by day, uh, depending on you and your grace as um, your people awaits how you would pave the way for us to be together again, to worship you and in, uh, in the eschaton as we wait for your coming back. Salamat na marahin po sa pangalan mo, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you all next week for our 11th week. Maraming maraming salamat po. Uh, please uh, stay safe. Uh, God bless you all. Bye.